In today's market update, I'm going to be providing you with a glimpse of the future, not only because we are going to be taking a look at the future line of demarcation cycle tool, but also because I'm going to be giving you a glimpse of our new sentient FLD trading view indicator, which has been in development for many months and is now approaching the end of its beta testing phase. It has passed the beta tests with flying colors and we will be launching the indicator upon an unsuspecting public within the next two or three weeks. And so in today's market update, I'm going to be providing you with a glimpse of what that indicator does on TradingView. Here it is. We're going to be taking a look at a little bit of the detail, and I will also provide a link in the description below this video so that you can join our early notification list to be notified as soon as the indicator is available. But let's take a look, first of all, at Sentient Trader so that we can update the analysis that we have been tracking in the S&P 500. This is SPX data. My previous market update video was recorded two weeks ago, which was on this bar over here on the 14th of October. In that market update, I discussed various reasons why I considered it likely that the 80-day cycle trough was coming in early. And you can see that according to this analysis, that 80-day cycle trough has been found to have occurred over here on the 8th of October. What that means is that we were expecting a 20-day cycle trough to form sometime last week. And indeed, it seems that that 20-day cycle trough has formed. You will notice that I am not only displaying the 20-day cycle FLD on this chart, but also two VTLs because we had a very interesting question that was asked, I think it was on our Discord channel, about the crossing of the 40-day VTL. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. Here you can see these VTLs, although of course they're only plotted as short extensions of the lines. Why is price crossing down below the 40-day cycle VTL an important moment? The reason for that is because the 40-day cycle VTL, when crossed by price, provides confirmation that a peak of the cycle one degree longer has formed in the market. In other words, this price cross below the 40-day cycle VTL confirms that this over here is therefore the peak of the 80-day cycle. But what is happening here? We have an 80-day cycle trough over here. Does that really mean that we have a very early 80-day cycle peak and that now the market is going to be moving down? In my opinion, no, it doesn't mean that. Notice that I am also plotting the 80-day cycle VTL over here, which was just tapped by price. And in my opinion, that 80-day cycle VTL is a more accurate VTL. There is some caution that needs to be exercised when interpreting price interactions with the VTL. VTL, and that makes it a slightly more difficult tool to work with than the FLD. But let's zoom out again and take a look at this 40-day cycle VTL and consider why it is that I don't think it is quite as important as the 80-day cycle VTL. A VTL is plotted connecting two consecutive troughs of the same cycle, or of course two consecutive peaks if it is a downward pointing VTL. Notice, however, that this VTL has been plotted from this bar over here instead of this bar over here, which is where the actual 40-day cycle trough formed. It connects this bar here with this bar over here. Now, the reason for this displacement has to do with one of the rules that Hearst defined when describing the VTL, which is, of course, an acronym for Valid Trend Line. I won't go into detail in this video, but it is important to bear in mind that when you see price crossing a VTL, sometimes you have to consider some of the details of that VTL to consider how important that price cross is. Returning to our more trusty and reliable FLD, let's consider the interactions that have been happening between price and this FLD. If I display the identification of these interactions in the FLD plugin in Sentient Trader, you will see a full sequence of interactions has been identified between price and the FLD. And following this 80-day cycle trough, we had, of course, an A category interaction. Price is now expected to be interacting in a BC category interaction pair. Here is the first part of that pair, a B category interaction, as price dropped down to the 20-day FLD line 
last week. It did so at exactly the time that we were expecting the 20-day cycle trough to form. And so what we are expecting next is, of course, a C-category interaction, where price will cross back up above the 20-day FLD as it continues its upward progress. Bear in mind that the US elections are coming soon and we have a 40-day cycle trough looming ahead of us in the first week of November. Now let's take a look at the same market on TradingView. This is our new sentient FLD indicator. And here you can see the FLDs plotted on the chart. Bear in mind that the color coding used in the indicator is different to the color coding that I'm using in Sentient Trader. You can refer to this table at the bottom left of the chart to see what color refers to what cycle. The magenta colored FLD is the same cycle that we have been looking at on our Sentient Trader chart, the 20-day cycle FLD. You can see that the indicator has also identified the interactions between price and the FLD. It has also performed an analysis which is displayed at the foot of the chart. Here is the 40-week cycle trough identified at the beginning of August. And here is the 80-day cycle trough identified by the indicator in TradingView. Notice as a matter of interest that it occurs a few days earlier than the 80-day cycle trough that we were looking at a moment ago in Sentient Trader. That has caused some subtle differences to do with the identification of the interactions. Notice, however, that we still have a 20-day cycle nest of lows, although all we can see here is the 20-day cycle circle and whiskers. And here we have a 40-day cycle nest of lows. There are the circles and whiskers for the 40-day cycle and also the 20-day cycle troughs. Again, that is expected in early November. Notice as a matter of interest that TradingView warns us of many news events coming from the US at the beginning of November as the US moves towards its presidential election. Zooming in on the chart on TradingView, we can see here that we have our A category interaction that has been identified as price crossed up above the 20-day FLD, generating its target. There is that target for the 20-day cycle. Notice there is no BC category interaction. The reason for that is because the indicator uses a fairly advanced approach to interpret the interactions between price and the FLD. And in this case, it has labeled this price cross down not as a B category interaction, but as a D category interaction. That means that what we are expecting next is in fact an E category interaction. But notice the power of this indicator. Can you see these upward pointing green triangles? That tells us that this 20-day cycle FLD is expected to provide an acceleration point to price. In other words, price is expected to cross above the FLD at this point and generate a target to the upside. That is exactly the same conclusion that we have just reached in Sentient Trader, that we are expecting price to cross above the FLD and travel towards a target generated as a result of that price cross. Notice that these other FLDs for the 40-day cycle and the 80-day cycle also provide us with information about the expected interaction that is going to occur next and also whether that FLD is going to be providing us with support, resistance or an acceleration point. Taking a look at the NASDAQ, we again have the 80-day cycle trough that was discussed in my previous market update over here on the 8th of October. Here again is the nest of lows for the 20-day cycle trough. And of course, we have our 40-day cycle trough expected over here in the second week of November. Measuring the number of bars up to this 80-day cycle trough, I can repeat the slight dilemma that we faced in the previous market update in terms of whether this 80-day cycle trough is an early 80-day trough at 64 days. There is also the possibility that the 80-day cycle trough would be better phased over here as a late 80-day cycle trough at 79 days. And looking at the same instrument on TradingView, you can see that the Sentient FLD indicator has chosen that alternate analysis, the alternate placement for the 80-day cycle trough over here in the analysis that it has performed. Notice the power of these FLD targets. Here is a 40-day cycle target which was positioned at this level over here just ever so slightly below the formation of this probable 40-day cycle trough. The targets on the TradingView platform include time and price level. And so this is the exact time that that 40-day cycle trough was expected 
and at this level over here. Of course, the 40-day cycle trough probably occurred about a week before that, at almost exactly the same level. Notice this 40-day cycle target to the upside, which has not yet quite been reached. You can see that price is approaching it, but it hasn't reached it yet. But notice also the timing of that target. Let me clear those pen marks. That target was expected exactly over here. And over here we did indeed experience a peak in the price action. Zooming in on our TradingView chart, you can see that the 20-day cycle FLD has upward pointing green triangles indicating that this FLD is expected to provide support at this point. You can see that price has already crossed the FLD to the upside and that is why we are expecting support at the level of the 20-day FLD. Notice this target from a longer time frame. We have an 80-day cycle target from the weekly time frame up at this level over here, which is going to be interesting to watch. Looking at the Australian stock market in our previous market update, I discussed again the possibility of the 80-day cycle trough as having come in early. It certainly is possible that that 80-day cycle trough has formed. Notice the number of bars over here, or number of days that have elapsed from the 40-week cycle trough in early August. At 83 days, this is a very long 80-day cycle, the average length of which is 68 days. If you don't understand why that is, I would encourage you to download the 10 Core Concepts document that I will provide a link to in the description below the video. If we count the number of bars that have elapsed since this potential 80-day cycle trough in the first week of October, you will see that 24 days have elapsed. It's getting a little bit long in the tooth for even a 20-day cycle. Therefore, our next expected interaction between price and the 20-day FLD would certainly be that price will cross above this 20-day FLD, either as it bounces out of this 80-day cycle trough or as it bounces out of the potential 40 day cycle trough following that possible 80 day cycle trough in early October. Let's take a look at trading view for this instrument as well. There is a wonderful simplicity about the sentient FLD indicator on all platforms and particularly trading view because of the way that it combines the identification of the interactions between price and the FLD and the cycle analysis. Notice that here too we have a 40-week cycle trough in early August. Notice as a matter of interest that 80-day cycle target that was achieved so accurately as that 40-week cycle trough formed. The 80-day cycle trough has been identified at this trough in the first week of October. And zooming in, we can see that the indicator has identified this as a D category interaction and we are expecting next an E category interaction. There are our green triangles indicating that what we are expecting out of the next interaction between price and the 20-day FLD is for price to cross over the FLD and accelerate upwards. Notice as a matter of interest how the 40-day cycle FLD has upward pointing green triangles indicating that this FLD is expected to provide support. Notice the plotting of these triangles throughout the price action of last week indicating that this 40-day cycle FLD has very clearly provided support to price throughout the week. Taking a very quick look at the Nifty, in our previous market update video, I pointed out the 80-day cycle trough, which potentially could have formed at this point over here. But I also pointed out that the important level to watch would be the 20-day cycle FLD, because we would need price to cross above the 20-day cycle FLD to confirm that that trough had formed. Notice what happened over here. Price significantly failed to cross above the 20-day FLD. In fact, it found resistance at that level thereby failing to confirm that the 80-day cycle trough had formed and making it much more likely that the 80-day cycle trough lay ahead of us. Here is the nest of lows for that 80-day cycle trough and we are looking at that 80-day cycle trough forming about now. Again, confirmation would be required by price crossing above the 20-day FLD. Notice the identification of the interactions between price and the FLD. And here we have a much more usual GH category interaction pair. 
Looking at gold, there isn't very much to say. The 40-day cycle trough that we were discussing in the previous market update video, which I recorded over here on the 14th of October, has been confirmed and found in the phasing analysis. Price has risen up to a new and higher peak, which was exactly what we were expecting. In gold too, we are looking at a trough forming in early November. You can see that it is marked as a 20-week cycle magnitude. We have a very extended 20-week cycle circle and whiskers. Why is that? It is because the 20-week cycle has not been as regular as the other cycles have been in recent analysis, and that causes that very stretched out circle and whiskers. We can simply hide that, of course, and rather focus on only the 80-day cycle and shorter which would be my preference the important thing of course is that we are expecting a peak to form in gold it might lie slightly ahead of us and then price is expected to cross down below the 20-day cycle fld on its way down into this trough in november finally bitcoin provides us with an interesting situation let me actually turn off the composite model line, which is not providing very much extra detail at the moment. This is the analysis we've been looking at in Bitcoin for some time with an 80-day cycle trough over here in early September. If we zoom back a little bit in time, you will see that the reason that this is an 80-day cycle trough is because of the fact that I have influenced this analysis and positioned the 18-month cycle trough over here in early July. I discussed the positioning of this 18-month cycle trough in market update videos pretty much throughout July and in early August, so I won't repeat that argument now. It is still, in my opinion, a viable position for that 18-month cycle trough, but many analysts would prefer to position that 18-month cycle trough over here in early August, which would, of course, match the 40-week cycle trough that formed in the many stock markets that we have been looking at. Notice that if this 18-month cycle trough would be better phased in August, that would simply shift all of these diamonds over by one 40-day cycle. What that would mean, of course, is that this 80-day cycle trough should also be moved over by one 40-day cycle, making this an 80-day cycle trough over here. The reason that I bring this up is because the recent price action over just the past few days raises the possibility that in fact the 80-day cycle trough is better phased in early October. Considering the price action that has occurred since early September, where currently we have an 80-day cycle trough marked, you can see there is nothing that really jumps out making this analysis incorrect. We have a clear 40-day cycle trough over here on about the 10th of October. But if we identify our price interactions with the 20-day FLD, you will see a good clean sequence A, B, C, D, E, all the way up to this F category interaction over here. Notice this red circle drawn around the F category interaction, indicating that that interaction is still ongoing. And that is not what we expect from an F category interaction where price should cross down below the FLD on its way down into this trough that we are expecting as in all the other markets in about the middle of November. And that provides us with an anomaly because this is not what we expect when price crosses below the FLD in an F category interaction. So what could be happening here? Let's take a look at what the sentient FLD indicator on TradingView has to tell us. Here is an analysis of Bitcoin against the US dollar on TradingView. And here we have our stack of diamonds for the 40-week cycle trough that has been positioned over here at the beginning of August. As I just mentioned, that is a very popular position for that 18-month cycle trough, although this is only phased as 40 weeks. Why is that? It is because the sentient FLD indicator only, in fact, plots the information for five cycles on your chart to avoid excessive clutter, which is always a disadvantage when you are plotting the information from too many cycles. And so we have a 40-week cycle trough at least positioned over here in early August. Notice the 40-week cycle target from the weekly time frame, which was achieved so accurately on that day. But here is the interesting thing that the trading view indicator shows us. We have our 80-day cycle trough over here, as mentioned when looking at the chart in Sentient Trader in early October. 
Notice again the accuracy of these targets. There is the 40-day cycle target, which was at exactly that 80-day cycle trough. Zooming in for a bit more detail, we can see our A category interaction over here, which generated a target at that level, which was easily achieved. We also had an 80-day cycle target achieved over here, and various longer time frame targets. Notice we have a 40-day cycle target, which is at this level over here, indicating the possibility that price must still rise up and achieve that target. Notice, however, the timing of that target, which was over here, where we did indeed experience a peak of sorts in the price action. But very importantly, look at the interaction between price and the 20-day FLD. You can see that we are now expecting a BC category interaction pair, and those green upward pointing triangles indicate that the 20-day cycle FLD is expected to provide support to price at the moment. Here is the nest of lows for the 20-day cycle trough, and here is the same nest of lows for our 40-day cycle trough, expected, of course, in about the middle of November. Notice this interesting target generated by the monthly chart for a 20-week cycle target. It's a fairly high target, certainly something to keep an eye on. I do hope that you have found this market update useful and interesting, and in particular have enjoyed the glimpse of our new sentient FLD indicator for trading view. Don't forget to join our early notification list by following the link in the description below this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below this video, or join us on our Hearst Cycles Discord server. I look forward to hearing from you.